What's up everybody, welcome to money management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on MULM stock. And uh, on today's video I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news uh, and I have to say that I didn't want to do another video right after I made my previous video yesterday. But we have uh, some news that potentially might be a catalyst for Marlin and uh, I see a lot of excitement uh, around uh, the internet and that is why I'm making this video. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point when this asset uh, had this spike in its price and the reason of uh, this spike uh, was the delivery of uh, let me show you of uh, lithium ion battery systems uh, to uh, Marlin. And as you can see, I showed you this uh, website uh, yesterday. And uh, recently, just uh, three days ago, on July 18th, uh, they received uh, uh, 112 cartoons. So this means that they have uh, 112 uh, uh, battery packs. And uh, definitely it was uh, the news that potentially could be uh, the catalyst, uh, positive catalyst for Marlin. But uh, I've told you that uh, it shouldn't uh, hit much higher targets and most likely it will uh, come back uh, to the range of about uh, 14 cents price point. And I have to say that uh, I was right. As you can see, we had this uh, spike in its price on pre-market hours. And right after the bell, as you can see right here, we have uh, even a breakdown, uh, a breakout below the previous swing low. And again, 14 cents price point uh, holds and uh, this uh, range of support is still on the table. So, and let me show you another news uh, that uh, for some opinions might be a catalyst, a positive catalyst uh, for Marlin Automotive. Let me show you this uh, tweet uh, and uh, it is a screenshot from Randy Marion official uh, Instagram account. And as you can see, uh, it uh, says, we are sold out uh, of uh, class one and class three until December. Campus units still available. Contact Brett uh, Sigman at uh, brands at randymarion.com for more information. And uh, it is uh, quite weird news because uh, how many vehicles uh, did they sell? Uh, I don't uh, think that uh, it could sell many because uh, just recently they said, they stated, Malin stated basically on June 29th that uh, Malin sold 22 vehicles, electric cargo vans to Randy Marion. So, did they sell these 22 vehicles uh, or, let me show you again, or did, or did they sell uh, even more vehicles? Because previously, let me show you that uh, on May the 2nd, Marlin announces 1,000 vehicle order received from Randy Marion Automotive Group for Class 3 EV cab chassis trucks. And uh, definitely, uh, if they sold out uh, all these vehicles, definitely it should be quite a massive uh, positive catalyst. But let me show you this. Uh, just uh, recently, uh, Malin and David Mishri announced uh, his plans to sell, let me show you, 930 Malin 3, uh, Malin 3 trucks till the end of this year and 660 Malin 1 cargo vans. And we don't know the exact number. That is why it is uh, very difficult to assume how many vehicles did they sell and how much revenue do they have. And on top of that, uh, let me remind you that uh, Marlin Automotive uh, doesn't have 660 Marlin uh, Class 1 vans and doesn't have uh, 930 Marlin 3 trucks. And they are not able to produce these uh, vehicles by the end of this year. They don't have enough money, they don't have any production facilities, they don't have anything. Even if we add to the number of uh, their uh, Marlin class one vans and they have about uh, I guess about 300 or even 400 vehicles if we add uh, to the number of vehicles the number of uh, battery packs uh, it will be not more than 550 or somewhere at this uh, uh, ranges uh, uh, number of uh, class one vans but about class three trucks uh, I think uh, in total Marlin Automotive has about 28 vehicles of uh, uh, 28 uh, class 3 trucks and uh, they don't have even uh, any contract with Randy Marion that they already delivered these trucks to 
uh, Randy Maron, and this means uh, this news uh, is quite uh, useless. On top of that, let me show you another quite interesting news that was published just yesterday. Marlin Automotive announces commercial EV launch event at Tunica, Mississippi assembly plant. Company to commemorate first class three vehicles rolling off the line and heading to customers. And uh, this news also might be quite positive uh, in general, but let me show you that uh, Tunica plant uh, is not the biggest one. It has uh, uh, only 120,000 square feet. And let me show you their plant uh, in details right here. Uh, here is uh, the screenshot of Tunica plant and it is an empty, basically empty building. And uh, how they will uh, produce these vehicles inside this empty vehicle. And on top of that, uh, they intended to assemble not only class 3 trucks, but also uh, class 1 vans. Because uh, just recently they transferred 360 uh, class, van, class 1 vans uh, to Tunica for final assembly. And uh, let me show you uh, right here. Uh, the Mishuaka plant uh, is quite big, 650,000 square feet, and uh, Tunica is very small, 120,000 uh, square feet. How they intend uh, to produce all these vehicles in such a small uh, plant, I don't know. And it is uh, very important uh, for you to know this. That is why I still stand on my position that Malin doesn't have uh, any production facilities. And uh, this data uh, that is set, uh, let me show you, uh, they intend uh, to make this uh, launch event on August 24th, is uh, set after the uh, meeting shareholder that uh, is uh, set to August the 3rd. And this means uh, basically it doesn't matter what will be their next move, because uh, from August the 3rd till August the 8th, they will have uh, to uh, reverse split their stock again in order to stay in line with the NASDAQ listing rule. And that is why I think uh, the dilution uh, will continue and uh, in general this asset uh, will break uh, its uh, all-time low at 10 cents price point. Definitely with the reverse stock split depending on the ratio it will be much higher but eventually it will go lower. And if you want to invest in this asset I highly recommend you not to do it. And it is not a financial advice it is just uh, my opinion based on my own experience. And I was right for more than uh, several years that I'm making the videos uh, on Malin. You can watch any of my videos of more than 130 uh, videos that uh, since uh, the beginning of 2021, uh, when they uh, disclosed the information about their solid state uh, battery pack. And uh, I basically caught the majority of its movements, even these small spikes, but in general. Uh, I think and I still stand on my position that this asset uh, is a fraudulent company and you shouldn't invest in it uh, no matter what. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!